What's up, guys? It's Arrow Gamer here, and I'm back with another awesome model uh, new release video. Uh, so I really apologize if I haven't been um, uploading these re new releases. I missed this one and some other reviews. And also, remember, I actually I would li really like the Finnair one, but I'm not getting it. And I kind of like the Valeris also, but I wish it had a Mexican registration. And but anyways, yeah, and also I'm not gonna tell you guys what models I'm gonna get. I want to get because stuff things change, so I might change my mind. So you might expect that model, but you don't see it ever. So that that's why I'm just gonna examine the plane, I'll compliment it or something, and then yeah. So anyways, so let's get on to the one one four hundred scale. So here is the Air Astana. Boeing 757-200, registration is P4-MAS. I think this is a Kazakh flag carrier. This is the flag carrier of Kazakhstan. Pretty nice uh, design, actually. It's a yeah, it's a nice one. It's a okay livery. Next, we have. The Bombardier Air CRJ-900 Air Canada and the new livery registered as C-GJZV. It looks sick, man. Like, oh my gosh. They look sick. Um, yeah, I'm kind of getting used to the new livery now. But, yeah, it's a nice one. Nice model. Next we have the American Eagle Embraer ERJ145 registered as N639AE. Kinda looks weird right here, I don't know why, but yeah. Next we have the Malaysia Airlines Boeing 737-800 registered as 9MMXS. It's got that Malaysia oh and I it's got the Malaysian flag right here. It's pretty nice. And I forgot to say what Negaraku livery. That's actually that's a nice model. Next to Qatar Airways Airbus A three fifty dash one thousand. Uh registered as A seven dash ANA. <laughs> On the phone anyways. Just kidding. But you know. Um, I really like this model. I'm not sure. I missed out. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you if I'm going to get it or not because things change. But I did miss the Dash 900 version. But, yeah, sadly. I didn't wasn't able to get that one. Next, we have the Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Registered as... With Thai Airways. Registered as HS-TWA. I like that livery really much, actually. Very much, actually. Next, we have that United Express Embraer 170 registered as N637RW. Next, we have the Vueling Airlines of Vueling Airbus A321S Sharklets uh, registered as ec dash. MLM. All right, so that's it from one four hundred. Uh, this is a very interesting release, actually. It's a very nice release, is actually. Next, we have to go into Gemini two hundred, um, American Airlines Boeing triple seven dash three hundred ER, registered as N seven one nine AN. Wow, that livery looks really, um, actually this picture actually looks really, uh, realistic as you can see right there. It looks, it looks like it's the real thing, but not even pictured, but yeah, pretty nice. British Airways Boeing 757-200 registered as G-CPEV, the Rendezvous World Tail livery. 
pretty nice. Some Chinese writing and all that's nice. Next we have the Delta Airlines McDonnell Douglas MD88 registered as N956DL and I really like this livery. This is one of my favorite Delta liveries, honestly. Uh, yeah, very nice model. And then next we have the LL um, Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner, registered as 4X-EDA. Again, look at this livery. Look at that. The shining and all that. It's really like, it looks really realistic. It's very nice. Next we have the LOT Polish Airlines Embraer 195 registered as SP-LNE. Next we have the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700S or Charlotte's registered as N280WN Missouri 1. Oh, it said Missouri one. I actually thought it was a plain livery, but hmm, pretty nice actually. Um, yeah. Next we have the Southwest Boeing seven three seven that Max eight registered N eight seven zero five Q. I really want the one four hundred scale version actually, but this is a very nice model. Very highly recommend it. And I think people were upset that last a few releases ago or something, uh, they were obsessed upset that one two hundred didn't release the Max Eight. Next, we had the WestJet Boeing seven three seven Max Eight registered as C dash F R A X. Very nice model. Um, WestJet delivery is also one of my favorites. Alright, that's it for Gemini 200. Now we go on to Gemini Max November 2017 releases. Uh, the Boeing C-17 Globemaster 3, the Canadian Air Force 75 years, registered as 177704. These are very nice models, guys. Um, these military aircraft. Uh, this that's really that's actually awesome. It's really cool. Um, but of course you guys all know that I don't collect military military planes, but these are very nice, awesome. Next we have the Lockheed C M C five M Super Galaxy registered as seven zero zero three four Travis A F B, um, U S Air Force. That's cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching, subscribe, comment, and like, um, that's it for this, um, put in the comments below what models you're gonna get, what, put in the comments below if you like these models, if you hated these models, if you think they were weird, interesting, I don't care, um, put anything you want, um, I actually thought this was a really interesting, unique, nice li release, um, with the Air Astana, uh, Thai, Air Canada, those were cool, but like I said, I'm not going to tell you which got models I'm getting because, you know, actually I change stuff sometimes, like I my past reviews, model release videos, I always like um, said I would get this model, but then I don't, so, and people think I'm a liar, so that's why I don't want to think, I don't want people to think that, and also, yeah, so... Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.